and I put this on my story, and y'all seen it. If you was on my story, you saw it. Mana was at, I seen Mana at 20%. I got a gut feeling. I said, Mana finna go all the way up to 200%. So I put 20K in real quick. I moved 20K. I got my money set up right where I can move that motherfucker. I moved 20K. I had it in um, IOTEX. I moved it from IOTEX to Mana. That morning, I was up at 3.30. I told y'all, I'm not sleeping like that. I sleep four to five hours a day. So this is my daily routine, right? Like when I get out of here, I'm gonna do 100 push-ups. I'm gonna, I probably study some crypto, listen to some beats, sleep four to five hours, wake up, go to the gym. I'm gonna run seven, eight miles. I'm gonna lift some weights. I'm back on crypto. Then the whole time while I'm doing that, I'm listening to crypto. So you see the, everything I'm doing, all my time is dedicated to something beneficial. I'm not really wasting no time in a day. You get what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking. Like even my horoscope, my horoscope told me you don't have time. I mean, you don't have, you can't be wasting your time. Every minute is valuable around this time because you setting yourself up more for the future. You don't got time to be, to be bullshitting. You don't got time to be lying around. I don't even got time to do no drugs. I don't got time to. I don't, I don't even got time to be on shrooms right now. Shrooms. I'm gonna start tre treating shrooms like a ritual, like the Native Americans did. Like I'm gonna go get a bunch of my partners. We are gonna get on shrooms and we are gonna go get down rain dance. You feel me? I'm gonna take a trip. I'm gonna see what information I get that I'm coming back to Earth, and then I'm back on my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna over abuse it like that. I'm not tripping. I can keep making music, you feel me? Like I said, even when I'm sober, I'm high. You you hear how I talk, you hear what kind of shit I be talking about. So even when I'm sober, I got a natural high. Like I told you, when you when you in tune, you gonna have a natural high. When you fast, you gonna have a natural high anyway. You don't gotta do drugs to, or, or drink to um, get this type of tipsy feeling. You know what I'm saying? And, and if a female gotta goddamn take a few shots just to let you hit, she might not fuck with you like that anyway. You feel me? But like I said, I got so many. My portfolio is so diverse. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Opulus, a tech company put 400 million into that. A, a tech company from India put 400 million into that. You know what that's going to do to the price of a small cap coin? You know what I'm saying? That's gonna take that bitch through the roof. Oh, if you in um, if you in the Bay Sunday coming up, I got a um, I got an exclusive album listening party. Um, crypto and marijuana. You feel me? Only for my tech heads and my loud smokers. You feel me? And if you vegan too, you know I fuck with you. If you plant based and you vegan, I welcome you with open arms. You know what I'm saying? Come on through, cause I'm gonna have vegan food. We're gonna have vegan weed. We're gonna have some other weed too, but I try and keep it mostly vegan weed. But we're gonna have weed. We're gonna have. We might do an airdrop, free cryptocurrency, some ETH or some BTC. I'm feeling kind of generous anyway. You know what I'm saying? I just got a million in Bitcoin, so. I ain't even tripping. But um, what was I talking about? Opulus. Yeah, Opulus. They integrate. A lot of people, gonna, a lot of metaverses from what I hear are going to have to be using Opulus. With the um, AI, with the alternate reality and, and shit like that. Um, Audius could be a profitable platform. Omi. I forgot to buy some fucking Omi today. Omi, Ecomi, is doing the NFTs for Disney. And it's fractions of a penny right now. So Omi, a.k.a. Ecomi, is doing all the Marvel NFTs for Disney, if I'm not mistaken. All the Disney NFTs. Just put y'all on the gym real quick. I just put y'all on some money. It's a fraction of a penny right now. I need to go buy me some Omi. If I'm not mistaken, it's the fraction of a penny. I go, I, I go research so many coins, I'm not even sure. But that's one I need to buy. I think Omi is on Bitmark. 
It's not on KuCoin. KuCoin got a lot of different coins, though. Like, if you download KuCoin, they got a lot of shit. Coinbase and Kraken and um, Binance don't got. I'm not too much of a fan of Binance because, you know, I move a lot of money. Binance got all them baby-ass transfer limits. You feel me? Like, I don't want my shit stuck in a fray goddamn when they... When I'm trying to move something and they got them on that baby ass shit, like I'm a little trader or something. Oh, and then if you ain't got Trust Wallet, make sure you get Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is how you get Doji Line. You can get that on Uniswap too, if I'm not mistaken. But I like Trust Wallet. You can stake in Trust Wallet. Um, shout out to um, all the V Chain people. A lot of a lot of the V Chain NFT developers sent me NFTs. They loaded my wallet up. Listen, I'm appreciative of that. Because them NFTs in six months probably going to be worth 100K a piece. And they sent me some pretty rare NFTs. So I'm 100% appreciative of all the V-Chain NFT developers who sent me shit. From the V-Punks, all that type of shit. You feel me? Fool Frogs made me one shout out to Fool Frogs. Because, you know, I'm getting into the NFT the NFT game deep too. I just had to learn everything I could about the crypto game, which they all work hand in hand. I just wanted to learn most of the coins and the tokens from the crypto game and then jump into the NFT game. So now I'm buying a lot of NFTs and I'm storing them. That way I have a real extensive NFT collection and you know the number don't go nothing but up and we in digital times. And, you know, digital times, digital money. Digital times means volatility. I mean, shit shoot up. You got to think about it like this. It's just like rap. Then you can get one song and just shoot up through the roof. You feel me? So then you can get one right play and he'll just shoot up through the roof. It's kind of worth the risk. I'm not nobody financial advisor, but it's kind of worth the risk. If you want here, my best suggestion is to join my Telegram. My Telegram puts you on game. Make sure you make a donation. Oh, uh, what's happening, money man? What's happening? What's good? It's hey, silly. I fuck with your music, and I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm just a regular ass nigga from Huntsville, Alabama, and you really put us on out here on the map and shit for real. One hundred. One hundred. Love, bro. One hundred. Hey, when that new tape coming? Friday. When that new tape coming? Friday. I do, tomorrow night For it'll sure. be out. Tomorrow night at midnight. Say less. Hey, if you can, drop that shit in my DM or something. A song. One song. If I you can. I got you. Love. Love. Yeah, man, my shit dropped this Friday. Y'all make sure y'all go check this shit out. I'm putting y'all on a lot of crypto game on this motherfucker, man. It really don't even matter. If you a street nigga, if you a... a if you work a job, see this is this is what's so crazy. This is even playing field. It don't matter what you is, you can you you can make money off this shit. But like I said, wait for numbers to go down, cause a lot of people waiting. A lot of people waiting too late. I put y'all on early though. Listen, man. I did I did as big Yoda. You know, Yoda was in Star Wars. Yoda knew a lot. He was the little small nigga, the alien nigga, but I'm big Yoda, you feel me? I know a lot. I got years of wisdom, man. I got an old soul, man. When I was 14, man, I had wisdom like I was, like I was 35. Like, I just knew shit. The, the, the Hindus used to say, I keep telling y'all this, the Hindus used to say there's a universal library that you could tap into, and I, I tap into that sometimes, not knowing how I do it, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of gives me that type of that type of game, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas who are selling weed, this ain't, I mean, this is regular. I put them on growing it, you know what I'm saying? I put a lot of niggas on swiping, like, if they had the resources to go do that. And what happened? The whole world turned to scammers during the pandemic. 
the whole world. The whole U.S. was getting some money. You feel me? I was on that two years ago. Now with this crypto shit. With the crypto shit, it's like... You... Before you spend your money, know what you're doing or make sure you just get sound advice from somebody who know what they're doing so you could kind of grasp the concept because this is a token for anything. I just heard about a new token. Um, is it so? I know I, I got to look it up, but they just did a deal with Coca-Cola. That's good news. So that means you can put money into that token. You kind of got to look at the news. You got to see where the news is going. Like if you hear, if you hear a coin just partner with who the cardano partner with cardano partner with dish network or was it helium hex hex or helium partner with dish network that's big cardano might be handling the transactions for t-mobile somebody correct me if i'm wrong i know it's some got now it's some tech geeks in here but um when you hear these type of partnerships that's when you kind of jump in you know what i'm saying like crypto.com crypto.com coin i feel like it's undervalued i feel like that's a big exchange and that shit is traded for under 50 cent that's undervalued you get what i'm saying crypto.com is like binance they might not be as big or handle at the same amount of volume but they will be Look at the name. The name alone, crypto.com. People's going to go the, in, inside the search, Google search, whatever the fuck. You put in crypto, crypto.com might come up. So that's a good investment right there already. That's one I'm giving you right now. Everybody talking about Solana, this, that, that, and the other. Crypto.com is cheaper and it's an exchange. So it's going to have a life. It's going to go parabolic. It's got to go parabolic soon, put it like that. So I would do like crypto.com. You see how Binance coin did. If Coinbase came out with a coin, it'll go crazy. I put money in Coinbase coin. KuCoin, I got to see if KuCoin got their own coin. I didn't even think about putting money in the KuCoin. I just used their exchange to trade on, but I didn't even think to see if they had a coin or not. Same thing, you know, if, it, if the exchange is doing numbers and it's pretty big and you see a lot of people on it, it's probably a no-brainer to put some money in that coin. Please say this loud. Yeah, Coinbase not whack. Coinbase, it, we're not going to say Coinbase is whack. Because you can move money around easily on Coinbase, but you can move money around easily on on, on, on KuCoin, too, as well. But Coinbase is still, I believe, in America, number one. They do, like, $1.8 billion quarterly. Like, that's a lot of money going through them folks' exchange quarterly. Wells is moving millions of dollars off of that shit, like, multi-million dollars off of that shit and cracking let's be clear cracking like i set up an account with cracking it's no limits no limits on what i can put in i just put 500k on cracking today no problem they let me send 500k over there but don't get discouraged by me saying 500k because i started off with five grand I turned five grand into 40. Because I'm the type of nigga, yeah, I, I got some money, but I ain't just going to go all in. I'm going to start off with a small amount. I'm going to use the crypto, see what the use case is. Then I'm going to try and flip it. Like a lot of people hate on meme coins. Meme coins can make you some money. Let me tell you, if you're not paying attention, don't invest in no meme coin. But a meme coin can make you a, a millionaire. You just got to be prepared to lose the money as well. Like, you can't put your money in the meme coin, lose it all, and then blame me because I was talking about crypto. Nobody can put their money in crypto and blame me. You should know what you're investing in. Now, one thing about me is y'all know over the years, if you're a real if you a real supporter of mine, I don't lead my people wrong. Like I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably the only rapper other than like Larry June. Shout out to LJ, man. Larry June, that's a good nigga probably one of the only rappers who lead my people to a real bag or I lead my people in the right direction. 
no matter whether it's legal or illegal. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you if you was trafficking weed, I was going to tell you how to do it better, how to do it smarter. You know what I'm saying? If you driving it, get you two, three tail cars. That way they get, they get confused. You know what I'm saying? And somebody can just hit the gas and act like they running and then get pulled over. Or if you swiping, make sure you do it this way with the fictitious this and the fictitious that. That way it don't lead back to nothing. So I'm always going to tell you the proper way where it's the less riskiest. But you got to take some type of risk. To, to get in a certain position, if you didn't inherit no money, you got to take some type of risk. You can't be, you can't just be square out here and think you finna, unless you just went the college route. Now, the college route, you can be square the whole way through, become a doctor, probably become a millionaire, get your own practice. But if you're not, if you're not doing that, then you have to take some type of risk to get to where you want to go. Even NBA players and NFL players take risks. The risk they take is neglecting academic work and putting it all in the sports. That's a risk, you know what I'm saying? Because if you get injured, you don't got much to fall back on. You kind of got to go back to the streets, and you got to thug it out, you feel me? If you if you trapping, you risking it, you know what I'm saying? Because you neglecting everything else. And if you get fucked up, you get locked up. When you get out, let's say you get a little time, you don't really got nothing to fall back on. But the good thing about crypto, um, if you got a phone while you locked up, like all my niggas who locked up, if you got a phone in that motherfucker, you can study this shit. You feel me? The market move with how much money people put in and how much money retail investors put in right now is decentralized. They eventually, they're going to centralize it. And it's going to stabilize and it's going to be controlled. It's manipulated right now, yes. But that's why you do your research on coins that have less of a chance of being manipulated. Like I said, Carl.